iOS 18 and also the brand new iPhone 16 models look like they're going to be jam-packed full of AI features. Today what I want to go over is the AI iPhone or iOS 18's software and see what changes we're expecting to see at WWDC and also with the iPhone 16 models to see what kind of exclusive features we may get on the latest models. So I think the best way to do this is indulge in, have a look at the leaks and rumours that are being going around and then explain my reasons behind them and thinking of what is going to be actually happening this year with iOS 18 and also the iPhone 16 with AI features. So let's begin. Early test versions of the software have already been leaked, giving us an idea of what to expect from the update. There are still hidden features and functions that we don't know about as iOS updates often include hundreds of tweaks and new features, but some key features have been revealed and I'll talk about them in the mo. As you will see from all the leaks here, it does seem like Apple's main focus will be AI in iOS 18. But first of all, when will we see the official version of iOS 18 to come out to all compatible iPhones. Well, based on say the last 10 years of history or so, iOS 18 will probably be officially released in the fall of 2024, likely in the mid-September time, probably maybe a week or two just before the iPhone 16 release. With saying that, the last five years or so with iOS 13, that came out on September 19th, iOS 14 came out September 16th, then iOS 15 September 20th, then iOS 16 September 12th, and then last year with iOS 17, it came out on September 18. So you can see here, most likely, that it's probably going to be coming out probably around about week commencing September 23rd or 30th is when we're most likely going to get our hands actually on it. However, for the beta releases, well, that's a bit of a different story. WWDC kicked off on June 5th last year, and it's most likely we will see all the new iOS 18 features coming out on June 3rd or June 10th this year. However, a public beta will be a far more stable version, and we'll probably be able to get our hands actually on that probably around about the kind of end June time to beginning of July time. At the end of the day, in previous years, the public beta again for iOS 13 came out on June 24th, iOS 14 from June 9th, and then iOS 15 from June 30th, iOS 16 on July 12th, and then last year iOS 17 on July 12th. Following the Apple's pattern here, we're expecting the iOS 18's public beta to probably come out between June 24th to July 12th. But next of all, you're probably wondering, well, is my iPhone actually going to be compatible and which ones are going to be dropped off this year? So again, in the last few years, Apple have not been offering the latest iOS on iPhones that are, say, probably more than five years old. So for example, with iOS 16, the lowest was the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 10, or the X if you want to call it that, and they came out at the same time. Then for iOS 17 last year, it was the XS or the 10s, and it was the XR 10R models. And it's more likely that the lowest models to receive iOS 17 this year will be the iPhone 11, the 11 Pro, and even the second generation iPhone SE. Generally, Apple have shown support for their iPhones to get, you know, the latest latest iOS updates for five to six years, but now with the likes of, say, Samsung, for example, offering now seven years support, and also that 10s and that 10R model, the XS, XR model, they also have that first of an A12 chipset, what was the first chipset to have the neural engine inside it. And why I mention the neural engine is because it's part of Apple's machine learning part of that chip, and it's a massive advantage for AI. What is what I want to talk about next, right? after this. So then guys, just quickly, I want to tell you about this channel's giveaway, what is happening right now, and it's for this. It's the MacBook Air what you are seeing right here. And this isn't just any kind of normal kind of bog standard MacBook Air. This is a specced up model. This model actually has 16 gigabytes of RAM inside of it, and also has the top line M2 chipset, and also at the same time has 512 gigabytes of storage. So it's not your bog standard 256 gigabytes, you know, with the M2, with missing some of the cores and things like this, and also a bog standard rubbish 8 gigabytes of RAM, in my opinion. So you'll get a good specced up 13 inch MacBook Air right here. And all you have to do to enter into the giveaway, what's happening, what's an international giveaway, what's going to be happening at the end of March 2024, you just need to put down in the comments 
comments below of what features you would love to see in iOS 18 with AI features. Also, possibly let me know what Apple gear you plan to also get in 2024 too. And when we get to the end of March time, I will be announcing who the winner is for this MacBook Air by doing a live stream. So you don't want to miss out on that. So the best thing to do if you are brand new here is make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because you'll want to know when that live stream is going to be happening. Now, one thing I just want to quickly also say, guys, is sadly still there's lots of scammers, spammers, people out there still personating me, sending you to Telegram, WhatsApp you, also to pay for shipping too. This is not me at all. I'll be paying for shipping. I'll be paying for tax on this. So please, please do ignore them. Or better still, please do report them as you are seeing right here. So next of all, let's go over some of the features that we're probably going to be seeing in iOS 18. So first of all, the major star of the show will probably be iOS 18 with its AI features. We've had so many leaks and reports coming in over the last year telling us all about this. We're expecting a far smarter Siri that will be working on a generative AI service, or in other words, Apple's version of ChatGPT. And this will be fully working with all of Apple's main apps, like organizing notes, for example, translating your voice notes into text. Also, likes of saying with Apple Music to make playlists based on what you listen to automatically and more efficiency. Also, maybe Apple's ability to create spreadsheets, maybe in numbers instantly, with just a few keywords and then also the same for presentations too just a few words and it will create a presentation for you there's also been reports that these ai tools are being made available for developers too as you can see here from mark german he said that there's going to be loads of ai apis and you know this is going to be utilizing that neural engine on the a chips found in iphones and all the developers will be able to get their hands on it german has also said he expects that ios 18 will be one of the biggest jumps in history with its operating system with so many AI features coming. I will say this, that it's great that Apple are looking to make loads of AI features, but there again, there is a lot of pressure from competitors out there. For example, with Google with the Pixel series, they've had AI as the main part of their phone have done now for many years. And then recently, just this year, with Samsung with the S24 series, they're bringing out AI features to the table. So it's, it just looks like that. It's just Apple's turn now to bring theirs to the the table too. One other thing to mention is that Apple are looking to do more exclusive features for the iPhone 16 models too. As seen here from Minchi Kuo who said that Apple are looking to improve the microphone on the iPhone 16 model so it can work better with the new Siri AI features. Also Mark Gurman has also said that Apple are looking to make more exclusive AI features just for the iPhone 16 models. Just like Samsung and Google, you can expect Apple to bring, you know, killer photo and video AI features like we have here. There are already third party apps out there, for example, that can enhance your photos and Apple might be wanting to bring this feature, say, in house to their own photo app. With this, like this Mickey clock you can see here, this was taken at a 20 times digital zoom, but you can clear it up to make it say it looked like it was taken at, say, about a five to seven times zoom sort of quality instead. In other iOS 18 updates, we're also likely to see some updates to what Apple announced back at WWDC 2022, and that is with CarPlay, and this is the full integration across the whole vehicle. And it looks like that Apple are looking to bring this out, and you can imagine with more AI functions coming out as well to your phone, that this will be shared possibly with CarPlay. Something else as well that might not be ruled out just yet, and that is that Apple have also brought out with iOS 17.4 and that is side loading to some European countries and it looks like this could possibly just be rolled out to all countries across the world or maybe a few more in iOS 18 and we'll just have to wait and see what is going on there but you know do watch that space there. So as you can see it does look like lots of AI features are going to be coming along to the latest version of the iPhone and also iOS 18. I am super happy that you know the older versions of 
iPhones, because most of them now with the compatibility, they've got that newer engine inside of it. So it does mean that Apple can utilize that. And then also we can get lots of AI bits and features to older iPhones. But I do believe that quite a lot of the features that are going to be announced at WWDC are going to be more exclusive to the iPhone 15 series and possibly the 14 series too, maybe a few for the 13. You get the idea. This is going to sort of triple feed, you know, trickle feed down to those. So the newer the iPhone you have, the more features you will get. And also, as we saw here today as well, that obviously the new iPhone 16 models, they will definitely be getting the best of the AI features and also quite a few exclusive features for those models too. But that is it then, guys, for today's video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. And also at the same time too, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons, please also make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.